Hello, I'm Mary for Edu for Hava, and this is the first SQL tutorial. We're going to start by downloading the server we need, MySQL. Here we write it in Google, MySQL, and we click. Here it is. MySQL it describes as the world's most popular open source database. This means it's free. Downloads. Here we come to downloads. We want to download the server, MySQL Community Server. Here it is. Download. We look for the Microsoft Windows version. Here it is. We have got Windows, so we want this one, 32 bits. OK, download. Here we're going they're going to ask us to register. We don't want to register. We say new user. And here when they ask us for our data, we say no thanks, just take me to the downloads. Here we want to go to the nearest server. Austria is OK. So we're going to click here. Now we want to save and it's downloaded. OK, now we're going to need another tool. Let's go back to the other page. We're going to need the workbench. Workbench, MySQL workbench. So we're going down here to look for it. MySQL workbench. U tool. This is the tool we need. OK, we're going to do the same as before. 32 bits window, download. And here we don't want to register either, so new user, when they ask for the data, no thanks. And here we're going to look for our server which is near our home. So uh, whichever is near to your home, you click it there. We need the Austria one, so save and it's downloading. It says it's downloading. We wait, this appears, we want to execute, OK, run. And it's going to install. Next, the typical one. Next, install. And now we're going to have to wait several minutes, as it says here, because it's installing MI SQL Server. OK, waiting to copy the copy of the new files. OK, next, next, this is OK, configure the mail SQL Server now, finish, next, reconfigure instance, next, Detail configuration, yes. Developer machine, next. Yes, next. Next. Standard, yes. Now they ask us for the password. OK, this normally works with a user. Uh, the user is normally root, so we are going to use the same password so, so we don't forget. Root, new root password root, and confirm with the same name, root. Next, and it's um, starting to install. So session configuration, prepare the configuration, write configuration file. It's working, start service, apply security settings finish. OK, so now we are installing, we've installed the server. Now we're going to execute and install the work workbench. OK, run. Next, the complete one, install. Now we're going to have to wait several minutes also, like when we install the server. Copy new files again. 
all the same process. Okay, launch a MySQL workbench now, finish. Okay, now we're going to speak about concepts. SQL, SQL. SQL is a language to cons for used to consult relational database. What is a relational database? A relation database is a container of related data. A database includes a software which manages this database. There is a lot of type of types of software. The main one, the most used, is the server which has the data. It's a program which runs in the background. It executes, executes and does whatever it does in the background. The different programs connect to this server and the server returns the data and makes the modifications. To connect to the database, server we've downloaded the workbench what we did before it will help us to connect to this database okay then now we are going to go to the um, page where the workbench is okay here it is this workbench will help us in the connection with uh, the database, what we talked about uh, just a minute ago. Uh, the first thing we'll do is query database, database, query database, and here by default, all this appears to connect with a database we have already installed the host name, the port, the username. Later, we'll see the details of uh, this. Let's click um, OK. Then uh, the password appears, user root, password, remember it was root, uh, put here save a password in both so it doesn't ask again and OK. And here we are, you shouldn't see this, uh, OK. Let's drop this schema. We can see that's what you see in your screen. Okay, a database has the following structure. The structure of the database starts with schemas. Test is the schema, and inside you can find tables, views, routines, tables. You shouldn't have seen this either. Let's drop the table. Okay. Now, let's refresh. Now, this is what you see. Okay, you can see a schema, test, and inside tables, views, etc. Okay, now we're going to create a schema. Let's call it Edu, for example. <laughs> Apply. Okay, this is a SQL instruction, create schema with Edu as its name, yes, apply SQL, finish. Now I have a new schema, Edu, and test that was there by default. Inside the schema there's going to be tables, let's uh, create a table. Its name will be books. I'm going to put books inside. Okay. Okay, now as you can see, we can put columns inside. So I have one by default, tidy books. It would be as called uh, the identifier, ID books. Uh, yes, now let's put a title. Title. Uh, sorry, I changed this without wanting. Author. ISBN. Uh, it's the books code. 
Once we've discarded our columns, uh, we're going to apply. Here there is an SQL instructions create table, which creates a table. It's called edu point dot books. The books table will be inside the schema edu with these columns. Apply SQL, finish. Now we see uh, sometimes you have to refresh if it doesn't do it automatically. This button here is to refresh. Here is our table, books. Click the right button of the mouse to can edit table data. Okay, now we can write the data we want. ID book one, title, Java, Java in 21 days. This is a very good book. Author, um, we're going to write the author, Edu, for example. ISBN, the code will be 555555 as in the movies, the false names. Okay, another book. ID Books 2, the title will be, for example, SQL in 15 minutes. This is uh, difficult, but uh, that's what we're trying to do to learn SQL quickly. Author Edu again, he writes a lot. ISBN 444444. Okay, as you've seen, we have loaded the table with the new data in CI, the new schema Edu we have just created. When we click close, we are told that there is a save change in the record set data books. Do you want to uh, apply? Yes. Now we can see the SQL instructions to insert new data in the books table. Insert into, apply, SQL, finish. If we come here, select rows, we can see what we've just created. Here with the author, the title, the, uh, the code. Okay. Okay, I think we can't ask with for more, with the little time we've got, this was the first SQL tutorial. We'll continue with these tutorials. See you in the next one. Bye.